All right, what is up everybody? Today we're going to be doing the troubleshooting for the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. If you have the 4XL and you need that troubleshooting, I currently have the number one Dymo 4XL troubleshooting video on YouTube and you can click the link right up there in the card that popped up now if you need the 4XL troubleshooting. However, on this we are looking at the Label Writer 450 Turbo. This does also do troubleshooting for the basic, uh, the base model Label Writer 450. Okay, so we have these, but we're going to get to that in a second. Now, today we're going to be talking about if your Dymo will not print, if it is spitting out an extra label when you print, if it is saying a paper error, paper jam, or missing paper. So if you have any of those issues, that's what we're going to be covering today. So if your Dymo will not print, the number one thing that will fix it, we're going to flip it around here real quick, is these two cords in the back right here. So you have two ports, you have one where your computer goes in and the other where the power goes in. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to unplug the computer port, you're then going to unplug the power, uh, power port right there. Now, in about five to 10 seconds, the blue light that is on the front of this will go away. And at that point, you can plug these back in reverse of the way you unplugged them. So we're gonna plug the computer port back in first, and then we're gonna plug in the power port. Now, once you do that, your blue light will come back on, and your problem should be fixed, and it really should be that simple. Now, if it still won't print, you may have a jam. So we're gonna open this up and there's two separate things we can do in here. The first one is we can push this return button right here. Maybe you can hear it click, maybe you can't. Okay, it's gonna be located right here. And this should backfeed any jammed labels that you have in there, which you can then replace them in and it should print correctly. Now, if this button does not do anything, you may have a bigger jam in there, in which case we're going to pull this lever towards you, okay, with one hand, and with the other hand, we will pull the label back out. So this right here will let us manually pull out those labels. Now, once you've done that, you can then power cycle it and re-put your label in, and you should be good to go. Now, if this still does not work, there is one other thing that you can do. Well, there's a couple things, but the next one we're gonna talk about are these right here. Now, we actually had to run one of these through our 4XL earlier today, and if you need these, the link to these right here, uh, the cheapest and the actual Dymo brand will be in the description. So what these are, if you open these up, we're not gonna open it, but if you tear it open, there's a little alcohol swab. It is a sheet like such. It is about half the size of one of your labels, but all you will do is you will open this guy up, you will take your labels out, you'll move your slide over, and then you can simply insert this label through, pressing this button to feed it, and this will feed through, this will do a couple things, this will clean your actual laser reader that's on the inside, and it'll also push through any debris or dust or gunk that you may have residing right in there. Okay, now once that is done, power cycle your 450 and try it again and it should feed right through. Again, these guys are fairly cheap. We get about a year's supply of these for $10 on Amazon. As you can see, the box is dusty. We've had them for a long time. Usually once every two to 300 prints, we will run one through. And this last time actually I'd say it was about 500 prints uh, and we had to run one through. So link in the description below for those. Now, if your label will not print or it is saying a paper jam or a paper error, there is a couple things right in here that we need to make sure. So this little slider right here, as you can see, it slides left to right. You do wanna make sure that that is snug up against your label. If it is sitting like this, your label can sometimes go sideways and may not print, causing a jam inside of your 450. Okay, now the other thing that we wanna look at is actually this roll up here. Now, this piece right here can slide to the right or left, much like this piece right here, you wanna make sure that this is snug up against there. So if you have it a little bit loose like that, you should not be able to see any gap between your label roll and the actual uh, plastic piece or the plastic disc that holds it on there, okay? 
Another thing, if your labels are oriented upside down, okay, that will not print either. You wanna make sure that this side right here is the back of your labels and your actual label that is gonna print is facing downwards. Okay, so if you've power cycled it, you've cleaned it, you've tried to reverse anything out, you've manually pulled it out and your orientation is perfect, the only other thing you can do is to actually uninstall your Dymo Connect software on your computer, reinstall it with the most current drivers, okay? And that can be found just on dymo.com slash downloads uh, or dymo.com slash software and then they will have you choose your 450 turbo software and you can reinstall that for free and you should be good to go. Now if you do have any other further questions about the Dymo 450 troubleshooting or the Dymo 4XL troubleshooting, leave them in the comments below and we will make sure to get you all set.